Welcome, sweet friends, to the channel Frugal Money Saver. My name is Emmy, my husband is Paul, and we are so happy you have joined us today. Today's video, we are gonna share simple and easy hints and tips on how to live on less money. With the prices still climbing, gasoline, we've noticed, is going right back up again. Food prices still high, utility bills still high. So what are we doing to live on less money? And today we are going to share exactly that with you. We are going to share zero food waste recipe. We're gonna show you how to organize food so that you can save money. We're going to also share some gift ideas. Now that the season of graduations and weddings, engagement parties is coming up, we're going to give you quick, easy, beautiful ideas on how to share thoughtful gifts. We're also going to share ways on dining out. Oh my goodness, we found a brand new app and we want to share it with you because it will save you a ton of money and it is actually super fun. We're also going to show you what we do to save on pet care. So sit back, relax, and let's get into a video on how to live on less money. The first thing we're going to show you is what we did to our freezer. You all know we're huge on keeping inventory stock of the food we have in our homes. We inventory our pantry, our cabinets, fridge, and freezer. But what about if your freezer is so disorganized, even though you have an inventory list, you can't find anything in the freezer. So we're dealing with that real life problem today. And what we're gonna show you is just how a little bit of organization will save you money because you know what you have then. You're not going to be buying double. You're not going to forget to buy things you need. It's just a win all the way around. So let's turn the camera around and get into our kitchen freezer. Here we go. Well, if you've been following this channel for a while, you probably know what this is. This is our bottom freezer, our, our refrigerator. Now, every time we reach in here to get something or do something, you know, you get to move stuff to get this stuff. So we're going to do some quick measuring run over to our Dollar Tree store and pick up some little containers to make dividers so everything is easier to find and locate. Let's see what happens. So we got some basic measurements of what we need and we brought the tape measure to the store and found some baskets and things that will go in this basket and then we can set the food up, beef and chicken and things like that so we know exactly where everything is. So first thing we're going to do is remove everything from the freezer, make sure our inventory is up to date. Perfect example of what we're talking about. That is a package of beef that somehow got behind the basket. So yeah, we're doing it. So we just took everything out of the bottom shelf of our freezer and we picked up these. They are not meant for freezer. They're collapsible storage containers from the Dollar Tree. We can put things behind them. We can put things in them. And what will happen is if things press in against it, it'll move. Where hard plastic is not going to do that. We are going to try this in the bottom for the meats. And we'll see how it comes out. We're doing an inventory as we go. So they fit absolutely perfect. And we're going to have room in the back of them to stand things up like our packages of chicken wings. So we're gonna start organizing this now. This worked out so well. I don't know if you're getting the full view of this, but let me tell you, this is perfect. The chickens are all together, the beef's together. In the back, we put the packages of chicken wings and some small packages of the pork neck bones, the turkey with the sausage around it. I know where everything is, look at this. And when we take something, it's not gonna fall through. Why did it take so many years to figure this out, right? Okay, now the real challenge is going to be the top oh shelf. Goodness, look at this hodgepodge of what was on the top shelf. It's inventory, but try to get to it, mm, good luck. All right, for the top, we're gonna use some baskets. So we're gonna show you how we're gonna do this. So we used little baskets inside of big baskets, if you can see that. That helps so much. 
We inventoried everything. Now I wanna show you what we did. We used our bags of rice. I buy 20 pounds of rice at a time and freeze it. We made this the floor of the freezer. So everything can stack neatly on top of that. Everything is organized and labeled. What a difference. Again, why did this take so long? I'm not even sure, but now it's going to be so much easier. The baskets can come out. We can see what we have. As things get moved around, we can reorganize just so much better. So just a couple dollars, literally, at the Dollar Tree, and we have a nice little organized freezer. I never thought to use those collapsible squares, but they worked perfectly for what we needed them for. While we were going through the freezer, we found a couple of packages of vegetables that weren't vacuum sealed. For those of you who may be new here, we do have a small freezer in the other room that we keep fruits and vegetables in, things like that. And we always take them out of the original package and food saver them. But there were a couple of packages we didn't do that with in our big freezer. So we got to work on that. And then one package of what was supposed to be raspberries turned out to be, well, you'll see. Let's turn this camera around and get into the kitchen. In cleaning out the top of the freezer, we saw these bags. And what we always tell you is when things come in like this, you need to food saver them. Once they're opened, they get all ice on them. They're full of air. Do you see this? These were a Saturday sampler at Acme and my son didn't want his. So we ended up with three packages of berries. Now in the other room is our small freezer. And what we keep in there is everything that is food savored. All our fruits and all our vegetables. We're gonna food saver these. And in this freezer, these were not supposed to be in there. They are bags of spinach. And as you can see, didn't even know what I had. I opened both. Paul's going to food savor these as well. And we're going to put this all in the little freezer in the other room. We just opened this bag of what's supposed to be whole raspberries. Uh, yeah, I'm not seeing too much whole raspberries Here's here. One. Yep, there we go. I am not going to let this go to waste. As you can see, Paul's adding the bags together. The blackberries were beautiful, but these raspberries were just crushed. So I got to think of a way to use them, but we're going to pick any whole ones out. Continue on. So much better. Now, nothing is going to go to waste. We just combined raspberries with blackberries. And then we took the both bags of spinach, combined that. Nothing's going to get freezer burned now. What I did was I took the berries that were all mashed and I put them in a pot. I added a couple blackberries in just for good measure. Weighted, it's about six ounces. We're having guests for dinner tonight, so I'm going to make like a raspberry sauce. And all we're going to need is sugar and lemon. And we're going to pour this over ice cream. It's going to be amazing. So I'm going to add about two tablespoons of sugar and about a teaspoon of lemon juice or so. Uh-oh, pit one, two. Keeping it real. And now I'm just going to bring this to a boil. And I'm going to just stand here stirring it while it comes to a boil. It's only going to take a few minutes. We got a nice boil going on here. Raspberries have a ton of seeds. Not everyone likes seeds in the raspberry sauce. I'm going to remove the seeds and then we're going to cook it for just a little bit longer. So this boiled for maybe a minute. So this is a really fine mesh strainer very fine. So what I'm going to do carefully, because this is super hot, is pour a little bit at a time in here. You're going to let it run through first, and you can see the juice is coming out. Raspberries don't have a lot of pectin. That's why we add the lemon juice, to just thicken it a little. We're going to continue to just push it down. All this has got wonderful flavor. It's going to take a minute, but it is going to be so worth it. We could have just thrown these out or threw them in a cake. I think this is going to be so much more delicious, and I think our guests are going to love it. 
So it's all strained and beautiful. Now what I'm gonna do is just heat this for another minute. It's going to thicken when it cools. Look at how silky and beautiful this is. A little bit of time, but oh my goodness, it's gonna be so worth it. It's gonna be a simple dessert with some ice cream, but this is gonna just bring it over the top. Just gonna to do this for a minute and then put it in a bowl to cool in the refrigerator. A very, very big focus in our lives is zero food waste. And we try really, really hard not to waste food. Why? You're spending money on food. You're wasting food. You're throwing it away. You're letting it spoil. You're basically taking money and just putting it in the garbage with the food. So we have to be really diligent about using up what we have and being super creative with odds and ends we find like that package of just disintegrated raspberries. Honestly, they were just like, whoosh, I don't know what happened. Maybe somebody smashed them, I don't know. But that raspberry sauce, I could have drank it. I told Paul, I was like, oh, I could have just drank a glass of it. It was so delicious. What we did with it was our son and a friend had come for dinner, it was Tuesday. So we put it over banana splits. They were licking the plates, we all were. Something as simple as that, some crushed raspberries, a little lemon juice and sugar, took an average banana split, which was bananas, ice cream, and a little whipped cream, sent it over the edge. We are having the ultimate splurge, not missing out, on a thing because you know how much a banana split would cost if we went to an ice cream shop or a diner so we made them at home they were wonderful and we used up what someone else may have looked at as a ruined package of berries so remember be creative with your leftover food we're also entering in to a season of gift giving a lot of people get engaged in the spring and summer. A lot of people get married in the spring and summer. There are graduations. There's communions and confirmations and all different kind of celebrations throughout the warmer months, not counting anniversaries, birthdays. And you may even be visiting someone for a meal and you wanna bring a little hostess gift. Be creative in your gift giving. Less money does not mean a lesser gift. Being frugal, as we talk about all the time, is not being cheap. And there are such simple ways to bless others. And it doesn't always have to be monetarily. It doesn't always have to be with actual money. You can spend less money and look like you spent a tremendous amount. So the first gift idea we're gonna show you, you could possibly get from your own backyard if you grow some perennials. And the second gift, well, I just happened to walk into my brother's house and see what he and my sister-in-law had done. So let's turn this camera around again and talk a little bit about gift giving. I have chicks and hens in my garden. I love them so much. And I know my sister-in-law has been wanting some. So what I did was I took some out of my garden and I put them in a little flower pot for her, but it doesn't look very nice. So I'm going to take it in the house and just make it look just a little bit more festive, I guess. Tomorrow's Mother's Day and I want to just bring her a little something. We don't exchange gifts, but I know she would love this. I found this pretty piece of tissue paper up in the gift wrapping bin I have. And it's got little flowers all over it. Now I watered this yesterday when I planted it and the bottom is dry. You don't want to do this wet because what's going to happen then is the bottom of the tissue paper is going to get soaking I wet. I just took all four corners and put them into the middle to make it a square now. And then I'm just going to pull it up. And of course, you don't even have to do this. And now just look how cute it looks compared to just handing the green planting pot. It Did looks you? like a little flower with the little petals. And you know what? It's just saying I thought of you a little bit extra. And she's going to love this. So 
So just take the time and I cannot tell you what a great gift it is to share any kind of perennials you may have with others because perennials multiply. Always check the toxicity of any plant you give away. I am at my brother and sister-in-law's house and I just came in and this beautiful, beautiful basket was here. They have a neighbor who did a really generous, generous favor for them. They wanted to repay the neighbor, but not with money. So what did they do is they went to Marshalls and Home Goods. And what's so great about those stores is they sell name brands like Harry and David at a fraction of the cost. Look at this basket, how beautiful. It goes all the way around. If they were to buy this basket pre-made, it would have cost near $100. Please don't forget places like Marshall's and Home Goods for making beautiful, affordable baskets. Remember, if you are making a gift basket for someone, and I think that is one of the best gifts that you can give because you can customize it to the individual or to the couple. And it looks like you spent so much, so much. And meanwhile, you can probably keep it around $25 to $50. Earlier, I had mentioned Paul and I had saved money dining out. Have to be truthful because Paul said it wasn't dining out, it was really takeout. So we need to share this amazing new to us app we just found. It is called Too Good To Go. And basically what it is, is an app that you download to your smartphone. It highlights restaurants, bakeries, delis in your area that will sell their food at a huge discount, usually 75% off at the end of the night. So I'm going to show you the app quickly, talk about it a little bit more. And this is not a sponsored video at all but it was an amazing, amazing revelation for Paul and I. So I'm just gonna show you a little bit of what the app looks like, and then we're gonna show you what we got. We are always, always looking for new ways to save money. And this is a new app to us, and we wanna share it with you. This is not sponsored, nothing like that. We just thought this was super worthwhile. You know we are big on zero food waste. Well, what happens to all the food in restaurants at the end of the day? This app is called Too Good To Go End Food Waste. Make a positive impact for the environment and save money on feel-good food with the world's number one food-saving app. With Too Good To Go, doing good is easy. You can discover, rescue, and enjoy high quality discount surplus food from your favorite local grocery stores, shops, restaurants, bakeries, and cafes. Did you know that one third of all food produced goes to waste? What we did is we tried this app out. We downloaded the app. And you can go to the Google store to do that. It's called Too Good To Go. I'm going to show you what we scored using this app. This is so exciting. Paul did not see what the gentleman put in the box. It's heavy. We just weighed it. It's almost four pounds. Okay, so you're seeing it with us here. Let's see what we got. Oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh, look at the size of these. Just for comparison, I'm going to put my hand next to this slice of pizza. Look at this. One piece would, would serve two. I guess this is like a baked ziti pizza. This looks like sausage and cheeses and... This looks like maybe chicken. This was super generous for $4.99. So this was a great deal. Now you don't know what you're getting, but whatever it is, I mean, this was more than worth it. 
these slices in our area, the loaded slices, what do they sell? Over five dollars a yeah, piece, I think. Yeah, probably six to seven dollars a slice. Okay, we're gonna measure this. This is exactly uh, almost a foot. It's like eleven and a half inches by ten inches. Can you imagine? This is these. I'm telling you, they're huge. Oh, this is so fun. Very, very worth it. Again, I can't tell you what'll be in your box, but for $5, oh my goodness, this is beyond. Basically, once you download the app, it's going to ask you where you are. And then it showed me all the restaurants and delis and pizzerias in our area that offered this too good to go deal. The one catch was you have to pick the food up a little later in the evening. For us, it was between 8.30 and 9.30. The pizza was out of this world. You saw the size of it, how delicious it was. And you know what? We splurged. We took $5 and had a good time. We made a salad and those pizzas we cut in half they were huge, you saw that. Now you never know what you're going to get, but they will give you the monetary value next to what you bought. So next to ours was an $18 value, which I believe because those loaded pizza slices, the size of my head, run about that much. What a fun way to get some takeout food at a minimal cost and again, avoid food waste. You can have these little splurges within your budget and that's what makes frugality so wonderful. The last segment we're going to show you is how we save a bunch of money on our little dog Dixie Bell. Paul's going to take us outside and he's going to show you what he does to Dixie to save us some big time grooming fees. Here you go. We are outside with our Dixie Belle, and she is gonna get groomed today. This is another way we save money. She's an exceptional dog though. She loves to be groomed. Not every dog you can do this with, but she allows us to do it. We just bought a grooming set from Amazon, and we watched a bunch of videos to make sure we were doing it carefully and safely, which of course, always, 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 we do not trim her nails though. She doesn't like that, so we do bring her to the vet to get her nails cut because we want them to do it safely. But as you can see, she loves to be groomed. Look at all that hair. She's gonna be so much cooler. Okay. It's amazing. She loves this. She just stands there and her little eyes get sleepy. How adorable does she look? Doesn't she look like a puppy? So easy for us to groom her that way. And I don't know if you have a dog and you've ever taken it to the groomer. It is extremely expensive, upwards of $100. So we bought this little kit for around $35 on Amazon. Again, nothing is sponsored. We're just telling you our real life, trying to encourage you on how to live on less money and this has worked for her. Now, please don't do it if you're not comfortable, if the dog's not comfortable, if you think you're gonna hurt the dog, anything like that, then no money, no money saved is worth that. And please, please use caution. So the whole point of this video, I think, is just to encourage you to be creative and be inventive, to look at your frugal life and the amount of money you have to spend every month, because we all have different amounts. Every frugal journey is different. And you could well be a millionaire, but that doesn't mean you are spending millions. You may be saving it. You may be putting it away. You may be having other priorities you need to deal with. Or you could be living paycheck to paycheck, which we are seeing more and more these days. But these simple hints and tips will allow you to live a rich, abundant life and keep your expenses well below your means or within your means, which is exactly what we strive for. So we hope this was encouraging. Today's question of the day, what do you do to make yourself feel rich? 
and I'm not talking monetarily, I'm talking little splurges or things you do that don't cost a lot, but man, they are wonderful. For us, I have to say this new app, I could see us using this maybe once or twice a month. And we think it's a great cause and it's something that is within our budget. And a little splurge that goes a long way is always great for the soul. So please share yours down below. We thank you so much for spending this time with us. If you aren't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Come on in and be part of our family. We would love to have you. Don't forget to comment. Give this a big thumbs up, please. We ask you. It helps us so much in the world of YouTube to help our videos get out there to others. We thank you again for taking the time out of your day to share it with us because we love to be with you and share our time with you. We ask you to be safe. We ask you to be well. And above all, we wish you blessings. Until our next video, may God greatly bless you.